Hey everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I'm going to do a little bit of quick comparison of these two different decks, both from a casted audio. One is A26, which is Delta Sigma deck utilizing Asahi Kasei AKM 4499EX, the top of the line chip using AKM 4191EQ modulator chip. Next one is R26, uh, R2 uh, letter deck using FPGA chip, DSP and everything combined. So that is the, uh, some people really love that kind of design, including me to some extent, right? For this setup, everything is level match, but for the setting, it has the uh, very same setting like my review. So PCM filter at the middle, that is the setup that I have. And then this one, I change a little bit. Now PCM filter, I'm using short delay sharp roll off. This filter can deliver me even better air and space and really good uh, texturing in upper mid range to lower highs frequency area as well as lowest of the notes using this filter. But it can also rise in the a little bit of uh, noise in upper range of frequency. Background is slightly less dark if you use that filter. So that is the difference between previous video A26 setting and this video A26 setting. R26 is very same setting, nothing's being changed. Here's a volume control. That's where I record and listen sound sample. So that gets me around 80 dB range but R26 mid-band can be a little bit more forward and a little bit more pronounced, so it makes seems like a bit louder. A26 and R26 both have a very similar build quality. For this review, I'm using right cable, dataless USB cable connected from my music server to these decks. The dataless XLR cable connected to Dano BMA SX11 amplifier. And I try with these three different speakers, but uh, in the end, I end up only using Pioneer TED S1EX speakers. I've been listening these two decks back and forth, back and forth for last week, the whole week, every night, like I spend like one or two hour before I go to bed. Overall sound signature wise, very comparable, but there are differences. When you throw in a bunch of uh, different kinds of uh, genre and different era of music, like 60s, 70s, 80s to 2022, 20, 2023 music, low quality, high res, everything combined, my judgment came from that experience. So this review may make some people unhappy and some people very happy. So I, that, that is not my intention. Okay, my friend, I'm telling you, I am sharing my experience. When you listen to the sound sample, first number one sound sample that you will hear from Patrick uh, Patricios, that is a classical uh, inspire, uh, you know, modern kind of take on classical music kind of thing. Bass lines in front end of the music is comparable, deep, deep notes, and but the ringing sound, a26 is really precise and clean and more precision notes. So those are the thing. And next thing is the Grace Meyer sound sample that I recorded. So that is vocal and acoustic guitar in live environment. So acoustic guitar wise, both of these decks fail to me because it doesn't have the body and textures and you know overall overtone of a real acoustic music like for example, like Pontus 2 or some uh, uh, ESS deck can do, like even like SMS or SU can, SU10 can deliver better sense of the overtone and decay and the vibration and everything from acoustic instrument body. So that is, is both of these decks are not best for that kind of sound reproduction. But that music, if your deck is not great in like stereo image, what you will hear is a vocal from a 
left speaker, acoustic guitar from the right speaker. But when the decks are really good, if you set it up right in your system, especially your speakers and everything, when the stereo image is really precise and center image is really in like control and best positioning, that vocal is right in the middle. Because well, that's what I hear with A26, but not with R26. R26 tend to shift the vocal to the speaker. So it doesn't disappear. So it doesn't have the magic of disappearing the speakers. You know, that's the difference between these two. So bass lines, that kind of stereo image, A26 is more precise. But when it comes to acoustic guitars, I'm not really big fan of these decks. So if you are really listening to a lot of strings and acoustic music, look for something else. So when I listen to modern music, let's say Billie Eilish, right? I didn't change my number. The intro, sense of skill, dynamic range, the width of the soundstage, depth of the soundstage, music separation, instrument notes are very well separated. Even for that kind of a monotone kind of music, A26 did a better job layering all the music than the R26. R26 have a great detail and depth and tonality and everything, let's say comparable, but slightly on blurrier side overall precision notes and accurate sound reproduction. Spaciousness, stereo image, width of the soundscape, like really skillful sound reproduction. For that purpose, I have uh, some specific tracks that I try, such as A.A. Uh, A. Bondi, uh, In the Wonder or Back, How Is the Drum. When I try the A.A. A. Bondi In the Wonder track, the skill, the dynamic range, decay, the, the notes uh, linger a little bit longer in the air, with A26. R26, it does have a, that kind of feeling, but it disappears quickly. So that kind of differences. It's not night and day difference, but overall texture and layering and precision notes, A26 is better. Personally, I can live with either deck, but since I can choose one, I would rather be listening to A26 for different genre of music that I have. If you only listen to such as high quality music or audio file music only, R26, probably you can get away with it. But even that, it can make me want more when I'm listening to my music, especially in layering and texturing. When I switch over to A26, is what I can also notice is deeper and darker background and soundscape and stereo image and depth. Every bit is comparable, but for the width, I have to give it to A26. So I listen to like such as uh, Led Zeppelin, Black Dog, the immediacy, attack, really good uh, texture and tonality. They both can, they both can provide that. But A26 is better. Why? Because it has better attack, better layering, and better texturing, as well as a bit more air. Bass quality, human voices and vocals, A26, more precise and more control and very well pronounced notes. And every uh, word is I can totally make out and understand. For example, when I'm listening to like Dua Lipa, Don't Start Now track, right? So that track, when I'm listening with R26, it has the uh, mid-range bend forward and you know, vocal is right here in front of my amplifier. So that kind of uh, mid-range focus and the mid-band focus sound quality if you listen to R26. But A26 vocal, it has voice is right above the amplifier and more precise location and really good precision and crisper notes and sound that 
it can re-deliver of human voices. It doesn't mean R26 is not accurate. It has the accurate tonality and sound signature all over the frequency range, but A26 is a tad more accurate and more realistic. Another thing is the, when you play really loud, R26 tend to introduce a little bit more noisier, higher range of frequency. Both of these decks can deliver you very good sounding, great musical pleasure and enjoying your music. But if you have wide variety of music selection, A26 may be better choice. R26 is very good deck. A26 is simply a little better. So those are my experience that I like to share. They both have a great price to performance and sound quality ratio only comes down to your personal taste and preference. That's it, my friend. That is my experience. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening.
Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, man have named you. You're so like the lady with a mystic smile. Is it only because you're lonely they have laid you? For that Mona Lisa, strangeness in her smile. Do you smile to tempt the lover, Mona Lisa? Or is this your way to hide a broken heart? Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep. They just lie there and they die. Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a cold and lonely, lonely work of Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep. They just lie there, and they die there. Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a cold and lonely Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a cold and lonely, lonely work of heart? Ben Tucker, it's called Coming on Baby. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. You're so like the lady with a mystic smile. Is it only because you're lonely?
strangeness in her smile. Do you smile to tempt the lover, Mona Lisa? Or is this your way to hide a broken heart? Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep. They just lie there and they die there. Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a comb? Lonely, lonely work of Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep. They just lie there, and they die there. Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a cold and lonely? Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a cold and lonely, lonely work of heart? Ben Cuppin, it's called Coming on Baby.